Hey bestie, I'm Kenya and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining in for some planner fun with me. So bestie, in this video, we're gonna be talking about something new from Kelly a Plan in the form of daily sheets, you guys. We got some daily sheets and we got a daily sticker book, a daily floral sticker book. So y'all, if you wanna learn more and see how I would use this daily sheet, stay tuned. Okay, Bestie, first off, let me just say I am so happy that she did this because, I don't know, I just really like Killable Plan's paper quality. I really like how she kind of thinks through things when she creates product. So, I'm super excited to just kind of see what's all in here. I've kind of like flipped it a little bit, but to see how detailed she went and just to open up this baby. So, we're going to open this up first because I'm curious about what's all on the sheet. I can't see the whole thing, so that's what I was like. What else is in here? Is it just one section or whatnot? But it's a whole pack, you guys. And here's a little bit of detail about it. it has It's Daily Sheets by Kill of a Plan. There are 50 sheets in here. They are double-sided, nice. And they are pre-punched. And of course, they are in the classic size um, that we have. Um, seven inch by 9.25 inches okay and then on the back it just has a little bit of detail about kill of a plan so oh okay see i told you i was like i wonder if it's like a full like note section or if it's like something at the bottom and yes i was right it has a little bit of a blank section so you can kind of make it be whatever and y'all i'm just i don't know do y'all know like like <laughs> this paper okay i'm addicted okay so let's go into detail about the sheet it has today's day in a like like a place for you to like notate or circle or highlight the day of the week the actual month and then the day and so that's really nice so you don't even have to write it it's just kind of like a little bit of a different detail i like that though i like that and then we have like a must do section, a should do checklist, a want to do checklist. And then we have a to do a today section. And then we have a notes section. And then we have this blank space at the bottom that you can make whatever. So that's really nice. And then on the spine, there's like a polka dot little decor there. And then, like I said, it's double sided. So that's really nice. You get get it on the front and the back and y'all this paper is absolutely amazing okay so that's really nice okay so I, I like how detailed and the layout of this uh, daily sheet is and then we have the daily florals a sticker book y'all so it has 1316 stickers in it and here's our little message on the back so we're gonna flip this off top just lots of softness and then we get to some functional stickers. Okay, so let me pause here for just a second because something that I kind of want to point out, like I'm gonna try to like put this like out beside it so we can kind of point out what's going on. So it looks like these bigger boxes here will go perfectly in these spots. Like if you don't want all three of these or you don't feel like you need all three, you can definitely cover those up. So that's great. Then we have like this long, to well, I say to do y'all, but today like little list because you can put it in this box as well, the today section. But then you also have like this schedule and then you got this long bullet point checklist too. You got some bullet points up here. You also have a daily habit tracker sticker that you could put on the page. Then you have like these little um, checklists. Let me zoom in y'all. Like this is a checklist. Like that's a separate sticker. And then you have these skinny boxes that seem like they would be great. Like labeling, relabeling these tops of these as well as maybe this today section and then this long one to relabel the notes section so that's very nice like even though it's pre-printed i love that she like aligned the sticker book to kind of go hand in hand with the actual sheet so that way if you don't want to use it how it is she already has stickers 
pre-cut ready-made and set up for you to be able to relabel them and then of course there are some labels at the bottom so we got like important today's task tomorrow don't forget work kids family meals and highlight of the day so just to kind of guide you too so th that's really really nice okay and so check out this color palette and then we have these beautiful florals to just add to the page and dec like deck it out like look at that y'all that is really pretty that is pretty like i want two of those two of this one because i like those leaves but it's super pretty so we get a larger scale that's kind of like a corner floral and then we get some smaller ones and then some some smaller corner ones and then some smaller full florals even a side floral so that's really nice then same format you guys just in a different color palette and i believe a different floral yes keeping with the theme here so we're just gonna flip it right quick so yes oh the yellows yellows i love it when we get yellows oh okay so this is pretty bright the yellow and purple i don't know that's like screaming lsu to me well it's got a little pink in it too <laughs> I'm, I'm ready for football season y'all so that was like a, a a thought a random thought then we have like this magenta color with the yellow and the turquoise no or would that be sky blue sky blue Ooh, look at that floral and y'all these florals are clear so let me point that out they are not paper they are clear florals and got our more functionality look at that gray y'all that gray is pretty too oh yeah that'll be really pretty 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 i can imagine like pairing this up with like some doll stickers that'll be really nice oh i like this one Okay, is that the same one as the cover? Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. That's probably the one I'm gonna use. Okay, and then look at this, like that soft, like, is that like a bluish gray tone with that pink? Ooh, that's pretty, y'all. Those florals, okay. Well, I kinda think these florals are my favorite. I like the other ones too that I just pointed out for sure. These are pretty super pretty and they are different so i was thinking they were all gonna like match like the corners and stuff but they are giving like this one is a little bit of a larger scale than some of the other ones then we got some pinks and burgundies that's pretty that's pretty as well Ooh, okay popping color y'all see how bright that is it's just like bam <laughs> bam oh y'all Okay, I love this one. Uh, Y'all knew I was gonna like it though, the purple, like, come on. It's so pretty, so pretty. Okay, so more soft colors. Very pretty and dainty. So definitely, if you like florals, this is screaming. Okay, like add to cart. I love this color palette too. I feel like it's similar to one we've seen, but Maybe a little bit different, maybe a little bit brighter. Pretty. Oh, okay, this is very giving like green. Ooh, y'all, the boxes didn't even give me a hint to what that was gonna do. That's pretty. Those are beautiful. Oh, okay, I don't know which one. Of, I love florals, y'all, so I don't know which one is my favorite. Then we got another bright one, this pink and blue situation we got going on okay uh that'll be cute like if you were doing like planning like for your gender like gender reveal gender reveal day this is definitely just saying scream like you know plan out your gender reveal situation or day or what all you gotta do okay so y'all then we get some quotes okay so uh some nice quotes and then in like this skinny nice lettering oh, i like it I like it, you guys. Okay, so then we get more. Yes, we get another page of quotes, some different ones. So let me zoom in on them a little bit so y'all can kind of see up and close in detail. Pretty, so pretty. Okay, oh, okay, then we get some more labels, y'all. Okay, and so these are a little bit more like everyday labels too because you got 
today priority to do important top three don't forget tomorrow top task errands chores upcoming laundry pay bills deadline schedule meal plan appointment meetings tonight okay grocery list shopping list exercise some more tonight see because i was like yep we need two rows of that that's good grocery list okay so that's really nice and that skinny like the same font that's on the page so if you want to do any relabeling and we get two pages of that y'all and these are paper so very nice very very nice okay such a great functional sticker book y'all and i just think it just complements very well with this okay so what i'm gonna do now because i'm like itching to like do this i'm gonna plan out my day for tomorrow and i'm gonna just like put a test run i mean i plan for the week but we're gonna test run for the day you know because i just feel like this is such like in detail and everything so let's let's hook this page up let's see all right, bestie, so let's get into planning out my day. And I am deciding to use these florals. I just thought they were so pretty and soft and everything. And we're gonna go in, cause I wanna show y'all how these actually fit in the boxes. I know I explained it in the flip through, but we're gonna just see how well they do fit. And so I'm gonna cover up this must do list. And I'm going to also cover up, let's see, the should do list as well and i'm just trying to make sure i get it straight y'all because i think that's like the key to fitting this in and then i was like oh i should use um one of these boxes to cover it up as well one of them i should cover up so that's what i decided i'm gonna cover up this one at the end so i didn't want to use that same peachy tone like right next to it and so we're gonna lay that down trying to lay that down straight y'all <laughs> and then we're gonna put another this like lighter blue i don't know if on camera y'all can see the differences in the blues in the bigger stickers you can and then i was very intrigued with using the time stamps you guys i have not planned out my day using time stamps in a while so i thought this would be like a nice little switch up to see how well i can stay stick to the schedule and everything and so thursday is a pretty busy day um or at least it should be because i got a lot of work i need to do and catch up on so i'm gonna kind of make some of that a priority and everything and then y'all y'all know i like to go outside the line a little bit right so i decided to add a box in a very odd space i don't know how this is going to affect my decor when i place it down but we're just flowing with it okay just flow with me bestie because this is just literally off the dome like we're not pre-pulling stickers or anything. We're just going to, you know, plan it out. And I'm just thinking about what I got going on. So I'm trying to um, give myself enough functional things on the spread to do that. And then when I put down this long sticker to cover up the note section, Bestie, I thought, I was like, oh, I should have used another box. I should have used that blue one so that yellow wasn't coinciding too close. However, that sticker didn't want to come up. So I had to just live with it. And then we're going to put um the label you can't really see it as well because it's yellow but it says today's task and then we're going to go to the back of the sticker book and i'm going to pull errands because i got some errands to run thought this second box would be great for that and then we're going to pull meal and i'm gonna make this my little meal section down here then i was like maybe up at, up at the top but now i was like we're gonna put it down at the bottom because i'm thinking i kind of want to put like um something else up at the top like maybe like a goal or something like that and then i was like oh no this right here this section that's like the note section could be my goals so up at the top i can do like a tomorrow thing because even though i'm planning this out for one day i want to make sure that i'm prepping for the next day too and so here's where i just got a little curious about the stickers <laughs> so i was like oh i kind of want to use a big one but you guys i'm gonna be honest because i know i have a lot and i wanted to make sure i didn't compromise my white space i decided against it and i put it back and i was just like i'm gonna use these smaller florals to kind of just throw across the page um randomly no rhyme or reason to them i'm just gonna throw them and y'all i need to find like a new tool to get my stickers out and i do have a needle nose tweezer however i don't know I just always, I never reach for it to pull stickers. I reach for it to play stickers, if that makes sense. So we're going to put this box kind of like cornered off with the other one. 
and then we're gonna put this floral smack dead in the middle that was literally the only design idea that i came up with in the moment okay so like i said we're gonna just sprinkle these florals all around and because it was in between two boxes i wanted to use some white out to make sure it looks seamless and honestly i think it's pretty i do i think it's pretty okay so i was trying to see if i could cover up that today label but i feel like i couldn't find anything that was color like it wasn't any other ones that were like in color that would go there so we're just not gonna worry about it and i'm trying to get up a sticker so um i'm thinking maybe i could put this one somewhere in a box or around a box i'm trying to find another another spot to put me a floral and right now i just don't feel like i have one i don't have one i'm trying to make it work on the page and it's not working so yeah i don't want to compromise like the space y'all i think that's what i was concerned about because i do have a pretty full day and i want to like max out this spread too just to kind of see if i can plan out the day on one spread as well like because you know you guys i use multiple planners and so this would be nice to have everything on one and the only thing i probably won't put on here is probably my social media stuff um i guess i could but i probably won't because i just got other things that i want to put down so i decided to put this floral in here so that way it still gives me room to write in the things that i need to write okay so we're going to continue to spread the florals throughout but we're going to just go ahead and highlight some things and write in some things first so i can kind of see where i can place some florals and so i just highlighted the date I really like that up there at the top, like that whole idea that you can kind of just select what you only need. I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's different and I don't have anything like that that, um, you know, encourages me to do that. Most of the stuff, I just have to write it in. Okay, so now I'm just writing out my little task and I, I have to do some cleaning up. I have to do my beauty routine. And as far as my errands, I'm writing in a list of places that I need to go around town to pick up various things and check on various things and then as far as my schedule you guys i'm gonna start out um the sticker actually starts at 7 a.m and it ends at 8 a.m my day extends a little bit past 8 a.m a lot of the times um and you guys will see just why but um it's fine i know i kind of know how i can use the rest of the spray to make it make sense so we're going to start out my day with some quiet time because you know that's how you get your mind right okay you get your mind right spend some time with the lord and just get get in the right headspace and then i want to get dressed and have a little bit of breakfast and then i'm going to do some content creating i got to it's no ifs ands buts about it i i gotta get it done because i need to um have it have some stuff uploaded <laughs> so and sometimes that's a process so i need to get it done early in the day so then after that we'll go grab some lunch and i have to track the shipping that has to happen today looking for some um products to reach me then i'm also going to be looking into some flights so i wanted to write that down and I have I have one hour I put in to do a little bit of office work before I go to my hair appointment. I have a hair appointment as well. Get the hair done. Y'all, it feels so good to have somebody like wash your hair. Uh, it's, it's, it's self-care, baby. It's self-care. It's love. And so we're going to do that. And then after I leave there, we're going to go run some of the errands and stuff. Then I need to run. That's the plan anyway. That's the plan. And then course come back have dinner and then i'm gonna write in my little meals here once i wrote in dinner i was like oh let me fill that out so i'm thinking a fruit bowl and some oatmeal for breakfast because it's you know light and then i'm thinking we have um leftover pizza so we're gonna eat that um for lunch and we have um, I wanted to do a, a softer dinner. So I like grilled chicken salad, y'all. Like, you know, just making a salad and, then, you know, making a grilled chicken breast and laying it on top. Yum. 
and then i have to pack for the weekend as well because that's coming up and then here in this little notes face i thought i would write in my goals because it's so important to, to write your goals every day that's what a lot of people advise that are like productivity and goal oriented people and experts and stuff so i've been trying to get into a habit of that and i've been doing pretty good y'all i've been doing i i say i've been doing good i've been trying to do good i have a tool that's helping me do good and i feel like this daily spread just is going to you know it's a great spot to put that so i wrote in some of my goals here um five goals and just the goals that i have for the month i'm keeping them you know before me and some of them are actually weekly goals and they're not monthly goals and then y'all i thought this space beneath it would look perfect with a quote so I went to the back of the book to find a quote and I found this one that kind of spoke to me and it says follow your I think it says follow your dreams they know where to go they know the way yeah that's right yes and I like it in that spot okay and y'all y'all can tell I'm not really leaving a lot of room for these florals okay like where am I gonna put the rest of the flowers that I have in my head that I want to put on this page girl girl <laughs> so i did go ahead and put that tomorrow label up at the top so i can make that list so i'm going to add some of these little bullet points to add in here just to it's pretty much all i need to write in a meeting that i have so i can be sure to prep for that and then some travel plans and prepping for that as well I need to check and it's I need to check in and do get my points, okay? Because I realized they didn't have my points applied to my account. So, okay, so now that we got that and everything, the page is looking full, y'all. I told y'all like got a lot. I got a lot. So I'm gonna, but I'm gonna have a little fun, add in some florals, add in a flower right there. I think it's pretty. Then I do have a couple of empty spaces, but I got some plans for those. Okay, we're gonna put something there. So I didn't want to you know compromise too much so i was thinking this little sidebar would kind of give me more of a floral punch if i just put some florals in the i say sidebar y'all the spine of the page <laughs> so that's what i was thinking put some here so i cut some i cut one down the middle and i'm gonna lay a piece right here and i'm thinking I'll lay one up at the top that's cute okay okay look at me adding more florals i know y'all it's not the typical like creative design but i just really wanted to get it on the page and i think the when you have florals you can kind of do whatever you want with them and a lot of times that scattered look it just still pops to me so i put one at the bottom and now i'm thinking maybe another quote i don't know if that'll fit because I, I can write what I need to write in one of the top spaces. But then I can write. I can use both spaces too. But I was like maybe another quote somewhere. I don't want it right beneath. I was thinking down here at this bottom. And it says make, to make today count. Be a beast. <laughs> I thought it was cute. Because we getting it done. Okay. We getting it done. But I decided against it because I was like no function. Function over cuteness. And then I go grab a floral that did not last long i want more cuteness so we're gonna try to see if i can fit one right here yeah we're gonna just we're gonna put it down we're gonna put it down because i just feel like this spot needed a little bit of balance i mean it's a little bit of funky like it's off center all of the florals are off centered however we're gonna try to even it out just a little bit and see what we can do so i'm gonna add a bullet point to this little white space so I can use it functionally and then same for this one this little white space at the bottom and then I'm trying to see if I find a like label that would go with what I want to write in these areas and I'm not really finding anything so I'm just gonna write it in and that is to fold and sort my laundry okay because I was able to get some laundry done, but I wasn't able to finish it. Like, you know, actually fold it up and stuff. So I want to put that on the list. And then I want to um, put my packing list down. And I mean, I said pack this. And I'm just going to pack up some stuff too. That's the goal. 
in the kitchen and the bathroom and stuff yep and then i'm just writing that in and so as y'all can see it's very full very full spread so i want a few more florals though like because i just feel like that big floral in the middle and then i got these empty spaces in the side so i just decided to take up another one of those florals and i'm gonna try to split it down the middle and then i'm gonna add it to the spine as well and i feel like that'll give that'll fill in my little blank areas and give me a more of that floral look yeah all right so boom we got it y'all we got it we got it we got it so i'm gonna punch it right quick and y'all this is the um crocodile punch the mem we are memory keepers crocodile punch and i use this um a lot of the times when i don't want to pull out like my bigger punch it's so like handy and so i'm just showing y'all how i'm punching it sometimes you do have to punch some of them like twice but for the most part mine pretty much punch is pretty clean and it's really nice to have all right so we got it bestie i had to do a little bit of a trim in this the area but that's my filled out the spirit and y'all i must say like i love it i love having it like broke down and stuff so yeah it makes sense i put like all of my my tasks my schedule have my errands i have my tomorrow check-in i got my goals i got some inspiration down i even have my meals and then i got a couple of more tasks and i have some bills i need to pay that are actually wrote down in that other box that i didn't tell y'all about all right so that's it all right bestie so that's it for this video i want to thank you all so much for watching here's how my page just turned out and everything i feel all you know organized for the day this is really nice to be able to break down my day and everything and just kind of have everything on one page and i can just kind of carry this with me you know what i mean like around and stuff and check stuff off and everything like especially like when i go out which i shouldn't forget that but i'm just it's just nice to have this like right here and y'all once again this paper quality is just everything okay it's everything so definitely check out the daily release from kill of a plan um by the time you guys see this video it will be soon to release so i have all of the details in my description box for you guys so that way you don't miss this i am curious though bestie you gotta comment below like are you a daily planner do you feel like this kind of planning and just having these type of sheets would be a great resource for you i would just love to know your thoughts and everything from everything you've seen in the video and definitely subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and like this video and share it with a friend that you think it will be helpful for and thank you so much to Kelly Plan for sending this over to me I'm super appreciative and just super excited to just have this tool to be able to break down my day so that's pretty much it Bessie I want to thank you again for watching and for being so sweet and so kind as always you guys are amazing and I love you until next time bye